Jello again. This is Ben Hitchcock Cross talking to you. Um, I'm going to briefly read out a letter from uh, the attorney from the Department of Workforce Development explaining uh, the situation here on why we were had to be in this room. Uh, this is going to be there's going to be several versions of events. I've got a recording uh, from Rusty at the front office. I've got a recording from the police. Uh, so we'll play that afterwards here. Um, but the judge, the legal counsel did not appear to be aware of the facts. And we sent her a letter saying, can you comment? And here's the issue. The secretary of the Department of Workforce Development, that's Amy Pechacek, is a subpoenaed witness in the case that we're talking about here, in which the judge is talking behind the scenes with Matt White. Uh, and that's what we'll, we got a clip of that here, too. And they discuss how the secretary's office, we cannot be on the third floor of the building because the secretary's office does not want to interact with me. And one of the reasons I believe that's true is because, remember, the secretary, there was a subpoena for the secretary that was active at that time um, that the judge had uh, basically had just ruled uh, that the secretary didn't have to testify. So I don't know, maybe you tell me what feelings you think prompted the secretary's office to make sure that I, we could not be on that floor so there couldn't be any physical interaction there. Now, I went, there's this whole building that we're a part of. I, I'm frequently walking around it throughout the entire six days um, because I need to stretch my legs, for example. There is no signs anywhere at any time saying that I cannot be in any location, that this is off limits, anything. The entire building is completely empty. They told me such and such thing is being renovated as we hear here. I heard all this, that we couldn't go on the, um, and there's just like, there's artwork all over this building, public artwork all over this building, this waiting areas, this, this entire huge office building is 80% empty, 80% empty. And that, I think, is this. That is what I assumed uh, was the scandal at the time when I had first edited uh, all this in the media here. Um, but I think, in fact, what it turns out is that the government here, that's the Department of Workforce Development, that's the judge here, um, Benitez Morgan, uh, that is Matt White, a um, subordinate of Amy Pechacek, who seems to know all about why we can't be on the third floor. Um, it seems to me that in this conversation between uh, Matt White and um, the judge, uh, that it's very clear that he tells her what the correct reason is, namely, it's keeping Ben away from the secretary. And number two, and again, it's she's a subpoenaed witness. Unbelievable. Um. So they're going to tell us all sorts of reasons. That's what we're going to see here, all sorts of reasons. But even after the video is up on YouTube, even after it has like about 8,000 likes, uh, views, I mean, the they don't still aren't aware of what's going on. So I'm going to read to you an email that I got at about 2.30, 3 o'clock on Friday afternoon. Dear Attorney Hitchcock Cross, this is from Caitlin Madden, the Deputy Legal Counsel of the State of Wisconsin's Department of Workforce Development. Attorney Hitchcock Cross, this email is in response to your inquiries included in your public records request below. Whether there was a directive to keep the Stolar hearing off the third floor of the GEF-1, that's the building we're talking about, close quote, and the veracity of the SO not wanting the Stolar hearing on the third floor. All right. She added a period in there that I didn't put in for some reason in the quote. Any statements that the secretary's office or any particular member of the secretary's office directed that the hearing for Stolar versus the Department of Corrections not be held on the third floor or the secretary's office not wanting the hearing on the third floor to avoid interaction between the secretary's office and the representatives of the parties are not accurate. That's what Caitlin Madden, the deputy legal counsel of the Department of Workforce Development says. The secretary's office is not responsible for scheduling equal rights division hearing locations. 
This is done by the ERD. Further, the third floor of the GEF building houses the Unemployment Insurance Division, which is in the process possession of highly confidential information that the department is required to safeguard. I believe I've got photos of that just sitting completely empty and that it's my understanding that the Department of uh, Unemployment was on the first floor and I routinely went around that, so that was no uh, issue. Uh, It didn't seem accurate at all. Um, And to the extent that those files were anywhere there, there was no actual human beings working in that area. Again, this building was 80% empty. I have some, we'll have some pictures that I'll show you here. Uh, We'll see how this goes. The fourth floor, for this reason, the access to that floor is limited. So that's the reason it's because of unemployment and for no other reason. The fourth floor of the GEF is currently under construction, not in use, and the second floor is vacant. So I don't think that that's accurate based on my visual inspection of the building there. Um, But, you know, here we're going to play some things. And coming up, most importantly, is the conversation between Matt White. Again, he's a uh, director, uh, director of the investigations. Why he's involved in the hearing, I don't know. Why he knows about why we're in, uh, I don't know. But the judge in this recording clearly knows that we're in there for security, meaning to keep us away. The police clearly know that, too. Um, Rusty, uh, also another section chief, also clearly knows that. Um, so I think this this statement here that the secretary's office doesn't have anything to do with the scheduling of uh the secretary's office is not responsible for the scheduling equal rights division hearing locations is false. So we know that. So one of two things is true. Either um, Rusty's lying, Matt White's lying, uh, the police possibly are lying. Maybe that's the case. Um, or she, this Caitlin Madden doesn't know that, in fact, the secretary's office is doing that. Or possibly Caitlin Madden is also not telling the truth. Those are the, the three obvious um the three obvious things that come to my mind, just based on the, her own statement and, uh, again, the recorded statements of uh, others. Now, going further here, we see that Matt, either she is not telling the truth or Matt White is not telling the truth. It's possible that somebody's telling Matt White one thing and telling her another. That's, that is also the third possibility there, right? So Matt White knows what's really going on. He's That's what he's telling. That's the truth. So I guess it's also possible that somebody told Matt White that the secretary's office doesn't want us to be there, but that's a lie. And that the real reason, and that that person then told the real reason, you could see how there. The main all problem with that is all of these possibilities involve somebody at the Department of Workforce Development lying to attorneys. Because let's remember that Matt White is a licensed attorney, uh, and so is Caitlin Madden, are both licensed attorneys. They're different than bureaucrats. They have a duty of candor to the public. So um, that's why this is particularly problematic, was we have two apparently conflicting statements by uh, public officials who happen to be attorneys. So um, I invite you to stick with us for the rest of this. We'll uh, have a multimedia extravaganza. Stick with us. We'll keep you informed. That is that is the public rules here. That's nothing new. I don't. I've not seen any sign that said anything like that. Okay. Well, there's a sign there now. Where's there a sign there now? Right, right back there. It's staff and employees only. So now you've put up a sign for me. I'll tell you what. That sign existed well before today. I was never there when this morning. That's for sure. It wasn't there at any other time. It was not standing there. It was no, it was not it was standing, standing there. Right over here. It's been moved because. So I don't know who makes rooms. So I guess that room's kind of small. I think. The reason we were moved down here was for security purposes. It was. Yeah, a combination of that and the fact that they're remodeling the fourth floor this week. Right. The secretary's office, to the extent they're in the building, is working on the third floor, and they did not want his hearing where he might run into people from the SO. Wonderful. Great. So yeah. basically, so basically <laughs> yeah. we're in this room, and there, you guys, what I'm going to tell him is that this is the room we have. The other room is reserved for hearings off and on. Do we know if the room next to me has anything? Is it possible? We, We're we not moving today because I'm not. I'm, I'm yeah, we, we don't know. Tina's going to. Where we're at, Tina. 
It's not the only room available. Come on. Who, is the rest of you available to talk to? He is. He'll come down. Great. I'd love to talk to him. Rusty, how you doing? Sorry. I know, I've been all over, over this building and I've seen how many fucking rooms are just completely sitting out. I don't know anything about it. You know? It seems to me. Okay. So when will Rusty be here? How you doing? Good. Good. Do you know what we need? What you need? Yeah. Um, I was told that you needed to talk to me. So oh, I need. We need a bigger room. Okay. So we don't have a room available right now. But in this building, I can see like eight rooms available right now. Well, we don't have the capability of reserving rooms that are not available to us. So. Well, I, who does I can't that mean? Just put you in a room. Well, why not? Because. Each room that we require for hearings uh -huh. has to be equipped with certain things. Okay, like what? I don't think I need to tell you that. That's our policy. Well, we were in a much bigger room before, and now we're you back are. in this tiny it's room not available again. Today. Okay, and I'm saying, I just looking around the building, going to all these empty floors and seeing everything else, you're so just telling me, me you that the about, fact that you there's go to a courthouse. Uh -huh. Can you go in the judge's chamber? Just willy-nilly? So that's completely, that's, yeah. No, it's the exactly fact, the same. It's not the same. You have rooms available. We, this room was, the room issue, is equipped. I just told you. the not room is, is too small, and we've had issues with uh, that, especially with the opposing counsel before, and uh, we moved to a larger room at, uh, you know, at our request. There and is available. Okay. There is a room available, Ben. I don't know what to tell you. That's all we have available for a hearing is that room. Uh, all right, so let's say I wanted to get a public record that would demonstrate that that was the case. What would the record be that would demonstrate that? Well, you'd have to start with equal rights because that's who your hearing is through. Okay. So go, go through that. But so you're saying there's no, if that's what the issue is, is that the equal, no, I'm talking about you. Asking you how you because you're telling me that there's you know that there's no other uh, what document is it that tells you that there's no other rooms available in this building here today? There isn't a document that will tell you that. Telling you that is what I'm asking. How do you know that there's no other? You have a calendar, okay? And is that your calendar? No, it's Microsoft owns the calendar. I got that, but what's the account? You familiar with that? I'm familiar with that. Okay. What's the account that that calendar is under? I'm all very familiar all with that. They're all different accounts. They're, they're rooms. I don't understand why you're questioning this. You don't understand why I'm asking. We already asked for a bigger room, and I'm continuing to ask for a bigger room. You're telling me there's no rooms available. So you asked this bill. The that makes a difference. You said we're asking, so I'm, I'm wondering if it's you, because then I should talk to the judge and tell if it, does, it makes a, judge, a difference if the judge is asking? If I'm, yeah, because then I'd be talking to the judge, Ben. Okay. If, if I'm talking to you, and we're going around in circles, and I need to talk to the judge when I ask you, is it you asking or the judge asking? No, I, yeah, it makes right. a big difference. The, what, the, what I'm talking about right now is I'm asking you to, how I would be able to verify here uh, that what you're saying to I'm me is accurate. Right here. No, 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 I want, I want a document. So you're saying you've got a calendar, and I'm assuming that's under your account, that we'd be able to request then your calendar uh, that would show us that there's no other rooms available, right? No, I'm telling you that there's no other rooms available. So if you're looking for a public record verbally, I'm giving you that public record verbally that there is no other rooms available right now. That's not what I asked you. I appreciate that you're telling me that repeatedly. That's why I think we're going around in circles. What I'm asking you is simply this. What is the public document upon which you rely to tell me this information? I'll tell you the same thing I told you before. It's a okay. public calendar. Great. And the account for that is what I'm asking you. Is it your calendar that you're looking at? You're looking at Tina's calendar? Whose calendar are you looking at? Is there a building calendar? Each room has a calendar. Right. Okay. Period. Okay. So there's several accounts. If you to, to answer your question specifically, each room has a calendar. Each room is booked. That room right there is an equal rights room. It's not, so, it's um, not a meeting. Six has got people in it. So, and What's you? When you're saying it's an equal rights room, it's not a you room. 
uh, I don't have one. access to reserve that account. Yeah, yeah. I don't have access to reserve that room right there. This is an okay. equal rights hearing. They handle their own because there's going to be their own res yeah. reservations for room members. We can accommodate them, yeah. which we did no for for your group. So what's that room? Who's control over the room that we were in who yesterday? Controls that room. The room that we're talking about for Monday and Tuesday. I'm talking about for yesterday. Who controls that room? It's it's a different count. Great. It's, what's that calendar called? You don't have the room. Great. What's the calendar called? What difference does it make? We're going around and around. It makes a big difference because I'd like to know, to me, for example. I'm telling you that the room is not available. There is no other room that has the capabilities that we need for a hearing in this room, then in you, this building that's available. Then you won't tell me what the capabilities for a hearing are. Is that right? I don't understand what the, since you seem to be worried about what the point is, what's the point of me giving that information to you? Well, because like we're, I, we're in a room, a building full of empty rooms, and you're telling me that there's no matter. room available that meets the capabilities of what you're talking the, about. You're not understanding the facts here. And I've told you twice, I'm not going to tell you again, we don't have a room available with the capabilities that need to be there for people that are in a hearing. Quite frankly, and I'll tell you exactly why, because there's a button in that room for you getting out of hand. You've done it several times. You've been visited by Capitol Police. This guy is here for you. And you know that. Okay. That's why we don't have another room available. Now I understand. You need, you need, no, to, grow but that's, uh -huh. you need to grow up and act like an adult, okay. an actual attorney, instead of causing all the issues around him. That's why. I appreciate that. Okay. No, I'm glad that you gave me an answer. Because it only took that, a few is minutes. Is that good enough answer for you? Is it the truth or something else? It's absolutely the truth. Okay, well, why was that so difficult? It wasn't difficult. You, you weren't asking me why that particular room is for you. You were asking me, is there any other rooms in the building I that think, are available? I think you knew needed? exactly what the question was. Dude, whatever. Okay. All right? Is there anything else that you needed from me? No, I think you fully answered. Her being hostile, you, which, which is ridiculous. You, why would you say that? By telling you no. She's not being hostile. Oh, okay. And let's take that into consideration. I'd like to talk to you outside about something else. I'd like him to be present, too. Can we go outside and have a, have a discussion? Come on. No. No, we can't? No, we can't. Okay. You made a comment to her uh -huh. last week that was incredibly inappropriate and incredibly unprofessional. And quite frankly, I'm almost thinking about calling you to the carpet for it. And I think you know what that comment was because your colleague advised you against making that comment. Okay. Do you understand that comment? I think I know what you're talking okay. about. Uh -huh. So explain to me why you would make that comment. Sitting in a position that you are, in the profession that you are, on the side of that profession. That you do, you, do you have any idea what this hearing is about? Well, I don't care what the, the hearing is about. I know what your YouTube situation is. What does my YouTube situation have to do with this? With what this answer my about? question? Why is that? Why is that appropriate? Can you guys separate a little bit, please? Why is that appropriate? I'm done talking to you. Okay, we'll be in touch. Okay, what do you have to say? So here's where you're allowed to go: down this hallway to the bathroom, okay, to the cafeteria if you need something out of the vending machines, and that's it. You can't roam the hallways where the quads are. You can't go in the elevators. You can't go in the parking garage main door those areas that's it is that the same for the everybody else for the respondent as yes. well have you told them that well, too listen that is that is the public rules here that's nothing new i don't i've not seen any sign that said anything like okay. that okay well there's a sign there now where's there a sign there now right, right back there it's staff and employees only so now you put up a sign for me i'll tell you what that sign existed well before today i was never there when this morning that's for sure it wasn't there at any other time it was not standing there it was no it was not it was standing, standing there right over here it's been moved because we have concerns so. oh okay because i remember that being facing the other way so that nobody could see that so let's not pretend that that was there when i was here okay and you you know for a fact that when i was here that sign wasn't up right there now right it's concerns. there now and i but that's that's what it, who has concerns i do i have concerns that you're just roaming the building 
What do you mean roaming the building? You so ad you admitted that you were up on other floors. Right? right. Okay, that's roaming the building. You're not authorized. It's not. Is there some? Is that some? Uh, tell me what defines okay. roaming a building, please. I'm not going to define those words, but there is an admin code for uh, entering un unauthorized areas of the building. I'm authorized to be here. I have this card that shows that I'm authorized you're, you're, to be you're here. You're a visitor. And right. Where else you go in the building other than what I described? You need to be escorted. So I'm not going to debate it. I've told you what we I'm expect. not going to debate it with you either. You're not. The, what I'm saying is if there's building rules, then I'd like to know what those are. But you just put those so up just now. Okay, but I'm saying the bill, I, as far as I understood from other police officers, you are here to enforce the law. You don't enforce the rules of these buildings. So if me, there is some rule. Okay, let me, let me give you a little bit more please. information. Okay, I'd love more information. This building is owned by the Department of Administration. I believe that. Okay, so there's rules. Admin code 2.1 for parent 2. Uh huh. Parent D, without authorization, enters private offices or non public areas in those buildings and facilities managed or leased by the department. Great. So when you show me that something is not, that I went into somebody's office that I wasn't supposed to, I've explained then, I'll, to you. I'll, I'll, I then I got more to that. Say about it. Well, okay, but so on that basis of the administrative rule, I think I understand where I'm at. That, what it seems to me is you've just instructed me beyond what the rule is that you just quoted. So let's be clear, you said going into administrative or unauthorized areas, I've got this badge here, and before now there was never any sign. So you're now saying now, apparently I'm to interpret that to mean that I'm not allowed beyond where you just indicated. I've said what I said. I'm well, I'm, I have, I go to the water fountain over there by workers' comp, because that's the only one that puts water in bottles. Is that okay with you? No. No. There's water in the vending machines. Uh -huh. There's a fountain right over here, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Oh, okay. I'm not going to let you bend the rules. You just created some rules. Okay. We're done. So I'm not going to discuss it any further. Well, then, okay. Then don't. Okay. Do you want to proceed? I, I, do you have anything to do with that? I'm just telling you I'm done talking to you about the situation. It doesn't seem like it. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a good way to show me. So, Judge, I understand there's been a new rule uh, put in place here. Uh, that has to do with, again, me, apparently. I don't know that the respondent has been constructed on this, and so I'd like to get that clear. Uh, for the record, I have just been asked. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we